Welcome back, everybody, to NHL Now. On March 7th, Carolina goalie Frederick Anderson made his much-anticipated return to the Canes lineup, and he picked up his first win in over four months. He missed time due to deep vein thrombosis and a subsequent pulmonary embolism. Here is a very emotional Anderson after that win. Pretty special feeling. It's been a, it's been a long, uh, long time out, and it's just, yeah, it feels pretty amazing to be back in here and, yeah, get a nice one with the guys again. And, yeah, it's been, yeah, I missed it a lot, so thanks. <laughs> And joining us now is Freddie Anderson in the car. Wherever we need to catch him, we're going to grab him. But, uh, Freddie, congrats on making your return to the lineup. And, of course, um, such a great post-game interview because you had such a, a loud roar of cheers from the crowd. Can you just take us back to that moment and, and how it made you feel? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Um, yeah, from, right from the beginning of the game when they do the starting lineup, it was uh, it was pretty special just the way um the, the way how loud they were and how they embraced me so that was uh yeah it was very uh very emotional and yeah it took uh yeah it took a long time to get back in there but uh but yeah like i said it's just uh felt really good and, and obviously happy to be back with the guys um guys now and yeah battling out uh, on the ice freddie I, it's good to see you man i haven't haven't seen or talked to you much since we got to play together in toronto always appreciated yeah. you as a teammate great guy and when you hear the news, what happened to you, it's, it was devastating to a lot of us. Now, the organization and your teammates, they must have pulled you through a little bit. They must have helped you along. It seems like a really close-knit group in Carolina. How did that all work with that uphill battle you faced to finally you know, bear the fruits of it uh, come last week when you started playing again? Yeah, I mean, right away, it's it's very scary. You didn't really know what what it was or how you dealt with it. And and yeah, I, I owe a lot of thanks to a lot of people. And just starting with the uh, yeah, starting with the organization, just the way they've helped me get to the doctor's appointments. We have a great uh, yeah, great couple of universities here in, in in the area that we could go to and yeah, get uh, get some opinions and get uh, yeah, get the best uh, yeah eyes on it. So so that I can make a yeah, and an informed decision on what uh, what was best for me and my health and, and, uh, and that stuff going forward. Hey, Freddie, can you take us through maybe what did that look like, right? Like, I'm, I'm sure there were some days that you, you know, you didn't really know uh, what, what kind of news you're going to get as far as returning to play and when that was going to be. Can you take us through the last few months? Yeah, I mean, the, the first day when I kind of was diagnosed with it, obviously, I was told that I had to be on blood thinners for, for quite a while, so that that obviously right away was like a little bit of a shock just to to hear that and you can't really play contact sports with with uh with the blood thinners in your system so that was uh yeah obviously that was a little bit of a, a shock to the system and but besides that i i felt like i was in good hands and then just uh yeah every day starting to learn a little bit more about what it what the condition was and and what uh yeah what possible ways i could uh yeah, handle the situation, and yeah, a lot of thanks to to the docs around the team and and the the various places that I've gone to. So, yeah, very good. I think uh, one of the big things too was just the teammates and, and people around the team has been yeah been phenomenal through uh, through this process, and, and right away we're there to to kind of help me through it, and, and yeah, so that was uh, very nice, and, and obviously it meant a lot. Yeah. Freddie, the, I mean, the diagnosis came like the first week in November, and I, I read somewhere that you you decided you would you would treat that period as similar as you would to an off season. So here you are, you just start your season, and now you've got to go retreat back to you know your your off season ways. So what did that look like for you on a day to day basis? As far as you know, I'm, I know I'm going to be out for a certain amount of time. How did you treat it like an off season? Yeah, I mean, the first first few weeks, I wasn't really allowed to do too much, and then slowly building up through there, just kind of get get the heart rate up um, a little bit more, and then start building off that uh, every week. And took uh, yeah, it took took a couple of months to kind of get full full into it again, and then uh, I forget exactly when I started skating again, but obviously in the beginning that was without pucks, so that was kind of a little bit of a challenge to to kind of get back into that stuff. But but yeah, just kind of yeah, take. Uh, Kind of do as much as I could every day, just um, yeah, accept that, accept that fact, and, and and make the best of it. So that was really yeah, the focus the whole way. Freddie, I've been there on the ice by myself, not allowed to have any kind of contact. I know those days are long, <laughs> they're slow, but at some point I was excited even even to have that uh, when 
when you go through a sort of a scare like that. Now, you know, if not comfortable answering, that's fine. But I just was wondering what what sprung it. Was it a gradual thing that you felt coming on, or was it something you woke up with? How did you get to this this point where they ultimately diagnosed this? Yeah, I mean, I think the week leading up to it, I was feeling some symptoms and and and, and stuff that I wasn't really sure what was. Um, some pain in the side, some trouble breathing. Um, and that kind of gradually got worse. So obviously, the, um, yeah, the, the night before wasn't very good. And, and, and the day I got in there to, to kind of get diagnosed, I wasn't really expecting that. But uh, but yeah, there was, uh, it was like I said before, a little bit of a shock but, and a scary time. But, uh, but yeah, I wasn't really feeling uh, feeling very good before that. So I'm happy to be uh, learn, learning more about it. I'm happy where where I ended up and I was able to yeah, to kind of find out before it was uh, it got any worse. Hey, I'm going to echo what these guys just said to uh, we're all excited to see you back and healthy and, and doing your thing. And you've been great since you've been back in those two games. Um, you're kind of getting dropped right into the thick of it right now, right? With this Hurricanes team and, and where you guys are at. How about trade deadline, the excitement around that team? I mean, you add players like Kuznetsov, you go, we get Jake Gensel, um, I mean, that's that's got to feel good, right? Like this has been an organization that's really primed you guys and given you a shot in the arm when you need it. How does it feel to get those guys? Yeah, I think they've they've come right in. I think Kuzi's very very funny guy. He's been been very loud already and, and uh, brought a lot of good energy to the team. And I think that's uh, that's important down the stretch. I think the the season's long and you need that type of, that type of stuff. And and obviously. Yeah, adding Jake too is is going to be huge for us. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see that the management uh, kind of went forward and kind of helped you out, helped us out, and and, and given us uh, yeah, a good chance to to do something special. That's uh, that's what everyone wants to to do. And yeah, we're just happy that we can uh, we can see uh, see the playoffs coming around the corner and and kind of get there soon. Freddie, give us an idea of what that locker room's like right now, because obviously, you know, you're, you're in a great position right now, you know, ready ready to go into the postseason if all things go according to plan. But what's it like? Uh, give me an idea of the personalities in there and, and, and what the energy is like in that locker room right now. It's got to be pretty fun. Yeah, I think uh, we got to be careful with the, with all the Russians now. we got a, a, <laughs> lot, of, a lot of foreign uh, foreign languages being spoken, so I think we got to be toning that down a little bit so everyone can uh, understand each other but uh, we do have a lot of fins too so but yeah we got uh yeah we got so many characters on the team and i can go down the list with burns hrv and uh tony and brendan yeah there's some, some a lot of a lot of funny guys around and, and that makes it really a, good, a pleasure coming to the rink every every day yeah, not to mention your head coach as well but uh hey freddie we appreciate you taking the time to join us great to see you back on the ice and continue to su success for you um, both with your health and with the team as well we appreciate you joining us thank you very much guys